Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay, owner of Black Sapphire Design. I'm here to share my expertise with you from 20 years in the dance costume sewing industry. Uh, here to share my tips with you so that you can do the same for your hardest working dancers. All right, today's tutorial is gonna be very easy, no sewing required. We are going to turn an applique into a hair piece for your hardest working dancer. The only thing you'll need is an applique, which you can find on our website, also on Etsy, Amazon, eBay, and you'll need a few bobby pins. So the nice thing about this applique is that it does have a good mesh solid background. It also has some nice heavy cording, which is gonna hold our bobby, pin, bobby pins into place very well. So all you're going to do is go from the right side of the applique, you see this is the fancy side with the sequence on it, take your bobby pin, slide it through, starting on the right side at one of your ends, and just push it through the fabric. Repeat that on the other end, push it through, Repeat as needed, you can put as many as you need to. And then you just secure it into your dancer's hair, just like that. And do it right before she goes on the stage. See, easy peasy, no sewing required. So for your heavier appliques, the ones with a lot of beading or sequins on them, you are gonna wanna use something a little heavier or more sturdy than the bobby pins that we used in our previous tutorial. Remember, we just used bobby pins with this one. Uh, for this one, I would recommend using a barrette. You can use this one for the girls with finer hair. Very good for the really tiny girls with thin hair. Or anything like this will do as well. Put these up at uh, Sally Beauty Supply or Walmart. So for this, all you'll need is some glue. You can use either a hot glue gun, standard, it's fine. Or a dancer's trick, you'll probably use a lot of this in your lifetime, is E6000. Make sure you are picking up the clear variety of E6000. Also make sure you follow all safety precautions on this label as the vapors on this can be harmful. Make sure your workstation is well ventilated when you use this. All right, another tip I like with the E6000 or any other glue is to actually protect my work surface with a piece of wax paper. It'll help me, it'll uh, help prevent getting glue on any of my work surfaces. The other thing I like to use is a disposable vinyl glove or latex if that's what you prefer. These are the type that you get like in the pharmacy section. Whenever I handle E6000, I always use gloves. All right, so for this, all you'll do is you'll set down your applique beaded side down on your wax paper. Take your barrette, put the glue directly on the barrette, hold it in place while the glue sets, follow the directions on your glue for that. After the glue has set, just make sure to pick it up from your wax paper to make sure it hasn't stuck too badly to that wax paper and set it on a clean surface. All right, make sure it, you allow it to dry fully after that. That's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of new videos whenever they come out. Do you have an idea or topic you'd like me to cover? Leave it down in the comments below or email me at dance at and we'll consider it. Bye.